Compassion for me is the essence of what it means to be a nurse. And if you don't have that, um, you probably shouldn't be in nursing. Some of us lose it along the way and we gain it. Claudia has never lost that and will always be uh, someone who's empathetic and has a true understanding of how people feel. She's humble, she is assertive, um, she's the person that you just rely on. She's the kind of nurse that just has your back at all times. She's very driven, very passionate in whatever she does. Everybody feels comfortable to be able to go to her to ask anything and 99% of the time she has the answer and if she doesn't have, have the answer, she knows where to get it. I love the adrenaline that the emergency department actually bring me. Um, I love to be in contact with patients, I mean from the very acute side all the way to like very like simple stuff. It could be like an ear pain all the way to a trauma patient, a cardiac arrest. I, I love all that. I, I like to help people and, and that diversity, that adrenaline is what drives me. She, you know, she runs around the ER and she loves it. She is uh, action oriented. Uh, she's hands on. She's someone who works alongside of you and guides you and um, role models what you need to do. She is a phenomenal nurse. She, her skills are impeccable. Her, you know, her knowledge base is, is great. Um, she's a resource for other nurses. Someone that advocates, that's willing to care, um, that's willing to do whatever is, is right for the patient as well as respect respect the patient's beliefs. Whether they're male, female, kid, um, white, Hispanic, you know, she does it all. She treats them all equal. She, she treats them like she's taking care of her own family. We had a patient here who didn't have a way home and couldn't call anybody, had no way of getting home. So Claudia decided to take it upon herself to drive a gentleman home. And when she got to his home, she discovered that the man that this elderly man was living with was abusing him and would not let him into his own home. Now Claudia, of course, got scared and took the man back into his car and uh, called the authorities. And she took this man into her house. Claudia contacted his family back home in Mexico and even, um, you know, reunited this patient with his family. His family thought that this guy actually was dead. And, uh, and they couldn't believe me that, I mean, we were calling from Chicago, that we had his father here. She bought him an airline ticket, and um, the family from Mexico was very grateful. She sent her mom and, and the man to um, Mexico. God has been so grateful with me, you know, and, and all those gifts that I have, I, I just try to share it with everybody else. I was working in the emergency room that day and we received a call from the field that uh, we had a baby coming in that was unresponsive. Um, Claudia had overheard um, the announcement and came out of her administrative duties um, and actually uh, went into the trauma room and uh, waited for the baby to come in. Uh, unfortunately, the baby was unresponsive and uh, had died. Uh, Claudia spent time with the um, father and we uh, took the baby uh, to a private room with the father and the chaplain, and uh, they started to pray. She was there with the father. He was there by himself. Um, she held him. She explained things to him, explained the process. Um, she let him just be with his child and hold his child. Um, she was there when the, when the wife got here. Uh, she calmed the parents and the grandmother down and then we brought in the siblings so that they could say goodbye. I cried. Honestly, I cried. I couldn't, couldn't be there. Claudia stayed there the entire time. They're, they were here for hours. She made the transition easy, I think, for the family. She also contacted um, obstetrics upstairs and uh, provided a box, a memory box for the family. I mean, nobody should lose their child. And Claudia was there for them like nobody else. And how did you make them at that moment, you know, make them understand that it wasn't nobody's fault? You know, how can you do that? And I think 
as part of like my work in there was just make them feel that at the end, I mean, they, they end up living here as a family. And it's not something that you can do on cue. It's just something that, something that, you know, she's built with. You go home and, and you appreciate everything that you have. That's kind of like the beauty after work, you know, like you live here and you appreciate your life, your family, you, you're even like being part of like this, this institution in general or being part of like the healthcare. You appreciate all that because you say, well, I can make a difference and, and I can make a difference possibly in, in a professional way, in a personal way, so in spiritually, you know, too. I mean, in every single way you can actually make a difference. So to me, that's, that's what matters. You raise me up to more than I can be.